Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So I've been asking for requests, subscribers to, uh, you know, let me know what do you want to see me carve. One of the most recent ones I had was a tutorial on how to chainsaw carve a bench, how to make a bench with chainsaw carvings and do all that. And well, guess what? This is the video. If you saw the video last week, you already kind of know what we're going to be shooting for and what it's going to be uh, looking like when we're done. But this time, I'm going to slow it down and walk you guys through step by step. So if you're learning to carve, this is going to be a great video. You can learn how to make your own bench and uh, hopefully have some fun doing it. Now, remember the first thing you should be doing is getting your safety gear out, putting that on, chaps, boots, gloves, uh, something to protect your face and your ears. Next, you need to pick out two pieces of wood that you wanna use for your uprights. Get level bases cut so they sit level on their own. I like to lay down a board that's the same width or wider than the logs and then that's gonna be the length. So I have a nice flat surface because I've got a lot of uneven ground. So if you're working on concrete or pavement, you might be lucky and not have to do that part. The next thing is, is grabbing a board and figuring out, you know, how long you want your bench to be. You know that this board is going to rest in here. This log's actually going to be spun around this way. And I know this board's going to rest in here like this. And I actually want it to rest in here, but kind of wrap around this log. So I've got my length pretty darn close. We might have to cut this down a little bit, but it's better to be long than short. If it's too short, you can't add it back. So um, I'll be carving two pieces of cedar today, and then the bench part's just going to be pine. Now there's not going to be a backrest on this at all. It's just going to be a, a two-seater bench. It's going to be just over three feet in length, about three and a half. And uh, yeah, make sure your saws are gassed up. Nice and sharp, ready to go. First thing we're gonna start with is the big piece here. What we need to do is measure up and make some marks so we know, you know where this is gonna sit. All right, so the average chair sits at about 17 inches high. So I like to try to make my benches right around that 17, 18, 16, 17, 18 inch mark in height for the seat so it's comfortable. The board we'll be using is about 10 inches wide. So it'll be about the same width as this, obviously more than that. Like I said, it's gonna wrap around the front. So what do we wanna do? We're gonna to wanna to measure up about 15 inches like this and make some marks. I make a couple different marks as the log is round. And sometimes it makes it a little difficult to see when you're cutting. Like I said, this is gonna kinda of wrap around here. So that's my first cut line. Now I'm not gonna be just cutting straight in. I'm actually gonna cut in some, we'll take it away, and we'll cut in some and take it away, just an inch or two. I don't wanna just go in there and cut it out because then this whole thing just, yeah. The next thing is gonna be come over here, figure out our 15 inch mark and make a line as well. And rough it in. What I like to do is grab a scrap piece of rough cut because that's what we're using. I already know it's two inches, it's easier to handle. So what I'm gonna do is line that lower line up with the bottom of the board and make the top mark. That ensures that it won't be too awful wide. And if you use a pencil or a crayon, so there's our two inch thickness. Come over here, do the same. and let it move on you and mess you all up. Now when I cut into these, I'm gonna actually make them a little, little bit more narrow than what I need and then open them up to fit as we go. I'm gonna go ahead and notch these bottom pieces out and we'll get the bench fit and get our length figured out and then we'll start the carvings. First piece I wanna carve is the big stump. We're gonna get that thing notched out so that we can get the board fitting in there just right. 
keep our scrap piece handy so that we can fit it in there and make sure everything is looking good. All right, guys, so at this point, I'm kind of angling the saw. As you can see, I'm coming in at an angle. Once I make that cut, I'm going to come back at another angle, if need be, and clean those chunks out. Once those chunks are cut out of the notch you're trying to create, we're going to have to use the saw kind of like a sander and work it side by side, just letting the chain kiss the wood and just sand it. It'll give you a nice, somewhat smooth surface in there for the end of the board to meet up to. Um, the better you get at this, the cleaner of a look you'll have where the board slides into the log and you can see it on the ends. So, take your time, you know, right here like this, angle the saw, come in and make those triangular cuts to get those pieces out of there. And, uh, yeah, you should do all right. I'm going to be working the saw here a little bit. As you can see, it was just a bunch of little cuts to get that out. And just, uh, just take your time and, and keep an eye on it. grab our piece to test fit should fit right in there pretty snug you don't want to have to bang it in you kind of want it to be able to just fit in there just just right we're gonna go ahead and start cutting that one and then we'll fit this together and we'll keep shaping it down to get it where we need it well, as you can see I grabbed my jaw horse and I decided to put the smaller piece in it I don't want it moving around a whole lot so this will all just depend on what size of a log you're using you know if it's a big heavy log then you're good but everything i'm showing you here can apply to no matter what size log you're using so just keep that in mind as you're you're making your piece you know if you got a big log you're still going to go through the same process to make this happen i want to go through and make my lower cut first I'm trying to keep the bar as horizontally level as possible and then i'm going to come in this way as well and i'm probably going to bury the whole bar and chain you know just so the chain is the only thing i can just barely see sticking out of the log and the same here so that means i know i'm dip deep enough for my board to fit in and be resting on some wood safely
grab our scrap piece and make sure everything fits. So that fits, sits pl pretty level. And that's gonna be where it wraps around. You know, so it's gonna wrap around the front here. That's looking pretty good, I'd say. So I got my bench seat in the vise. You can see the L-shaped cut we're gonna make. We're gonna follow our line down, and we're gonna cut in, losing that piece. Then we'll go back and refit it in our logs and see how everything looks. As you guys can see right here, I got my saw I'm making some cuts. It's so it can have a live edge look on that bench. I'm just doing an angle, real steep angle. And uh, you guys can see what I'm doing there. So that'll also get sanded out with the angle grinder later so there's no slivers or anything like that. But this is a quick way to uh, give those boards that live edge look if you don't have a piece of live edge to work with. carving out an owl for the sake of length and time of this video I'm not going to give you a step-by-step -step on how to carve an owl but you guys will be able to see in a little bit of high speed as I do that now when we come around to the bear it's kind of going to be similar I'm not going to do a full tutorial on how to carve a bear um, a lot of it's going to be trial and error for you guys a lot of it's just custom um, I've got a design in my head and so it's just going to be making small cuts and shaping this bear that's going to be looking over the log kind of this way at us. And the owl will be perched here, maybe facing out just a little. As you guys can see, I started the top of the owl, kind of just rounding that head over, and making some cuts toward the back, downward. You know, his tail and his back are all going to be swooping down. It's really, really important that if you're going to be carving an owl for the first time, you print out some pictures. You guys need to be studying whatever it is that you want to carve. You know, it really is. You need to see a front, a left to right, and a back view of whatever the subject is you want to carve. That picture needs to be burned into your brain. <laughs> so hopefully when you grab your saw, it'll go from your brain, through your hands, and out the end of the chainsaw. Um, I normally will have pictures up of whatever whatever it is I want to carve. On top of that, when I'm not working and I have free time, I'm looking up photos and studying photos of whatever the subject is, whether it's a bear, an owl, eagle, whatever. You guys should be doing the same thing leading up to a carving. So keep that in mind. All these cuts I'm making here are just small cuts. As always, it's easier to take away than it is to put it back. So if you just take away small cuts at a time, you have a less, lesser chance of taking away too much and not being able to put it back than having to redesign or rethink your whole project. So, you know, take your time and make these cuts nice and slow and methodical and just think them out. Also, I already wrote it earlier and I think I've already said it, but I am currently uh, editing the tutorial video on an owl just like this, sitting here, and I'll perched on books. That's what this is gonna end up being. And hopefully that'll give you guys some better instructions on how to do it. A lot of these carvings for me, I just wing it. So it's tough to give you a step-by-step -step because like you see here with the owl, it's a lot of little, little cuts. So I mean, it's really tough to go, okay, make a little cut like this, make another one and make another one. But I'm really gonna try to, uh, to do that try to get you guys a, a good tutorial on an owl that's going to be very similar to one I'm carving here. Hopefully it'll help you guys out. <laughs> As always, if you guys got a suggestion for the next carving you want to see or possible tutorial video or both, comment below and let me know what it is. You know, I'll, uh, I'll give it a go. I'll give it my best shot. Just like the uh, Elvis carving I did, I, I don't think it came out very great but I've gotten compliments on it so hey you, you got to give it a first give a first try to everything and just uh, see how it goes you know 
So I want to thank you guys for all your support so far. We're going to keep going on this eagle. And uh, I don't know why I said eagle. Owl. And uh, we'll see how it comes out. So there is a reason why I did leave all these clips and cuts and shots of me just carving out this owl and that's so you guys could see a lot of these basic cuts. I know it's high speed, but you guys will start to get that general idea of how to carve this. So next week when I have that tutorial up, you will already kind of have a general idea of what we're going to be doing, what you're going to be looking at, and uh, you know the, the kind of piece we're aiming for. So. Like I said, walking you through it at this time would probably stretch this video out to about an hour by the time we did the owl and the bear that's coming up next. So I wanted to keep this video under that 20 minute mark. I know I'm just a little bit over that, but I thank you guys for hanging in there. Coming up next is uh, starting that bear, so stick with me. If you guys are enjoying this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Really appreciate you guys doing that for me. Let's get uh, let's get started on that bear. Hey guys, so it's going to be the same thing for the bear. I'm not going to be able to do a step by step, you know, stop the video, walk through each cut. As again, it's just going to make this video even longer. So the plan is do a video carving out a bear just as similar as this one um, I believe what I'm gonna do is the owl video first and then hopefully the next week will be the bear kind of climbing up over the back of the log video so that's what I'm doing here I'm carving a bear that's gonna be climbing up over the log sort of looking at the seat 
I think it'll flow really well with the direction of the owl and the way the owl looks. So I like to have them kind of matching, I guess, in that sense. For the most part, though, if you guys watch this video and you want to just try to do a bear, follow the simple, same simple basic techniques that I showed you in all my other videos on how to carve a bear. Start the head the same and then use your imagination, you know. Look at my finished piece, watch this video, watch others, look at some pictures, and just kind of go from there. If you're not confident enough to do that, that's fine. Within a couple weeks or so here, I'll have a video up and I can hopefully walk you guys through that and uh, get you going on creating a bench like this one. Now, I do always suggest that you guys try to, you know, use your own artistic abilities to try and you know create something of your own style you know you don't need to mimic exactly what I do that's the best part about carving and creating art is that each and every piece is different so that we're not all making the exact same stuff I've said it before even if the piece isn't exactly what you were hoping for it to turn out to be that's fine there's always someone out there that's gonna love it they might not find it tomorrow or the next day it might be a week or a couple months somebody's gonna love what you make put your time into it try your best and as always practice practice is key to this stuff so um be looking forward to the next few videos you know i think they're really gonna help you guys out and uh well hope you guys watch this video to the end see the completed piece also if you haven't already be sure to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up as i seriously appreciate that kind of support from all you guys Thanks again, and uh, let's keep going on this. Alright guys, so I hope this video helped you out and will help you out on your next bench. If you have any questions, please comment below. I know there's probably a million other ways to do this, but this is just how I'm making these and putting them together and hopefully it'll help you out. I know I didn't go step by step with the bear or with the owl. Um, the owl, I'll be doing a video though. We'll do a little tutorial on it maybe in a couple weeks. We'll walk you guys through it and I'll show you how to do it. <laughs> Getting photo bombed up there in the corner by my son playing, but that's life, right? You guys should already know how to carve the bears. If you don't, I'll send a link so you guys can see how to do that. I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.